Lakers, Clippers, ring night for the defending champs. It's number four for LeBron James. He and his teammates celebrating Kawhi Leonard and company this year looking to play spoiler. Middle of the first, Lakers already down 11. Anthony Davis, trouble. Kawhi, the other way. Lou Will for three. Yes, he had 11 off the bench. Still in the first. Clippers are up 14. Kawhi Leonard. Watch him creating the space. Wesley Matthews goes flying. Kawhi lays it up and good. He had 26 points in 34 minutes. Lakers were down 20 after one, but they're chipping away. Second quarter, 12-point game. Anthony Davis on the baseline. Lakers within 10. AD had 18 points in 31 minutes. Under two minutes till halftime. Lakers down by five. LeBron, he's a week shy of his 36th birthday. 18 points, 31 minutes. Excuse me, LeBron James had 22 points in 28 minutes as he would throw that one down. Lakers trailing by two at the half. Third quarter, Clippers up four, and now we're going the other way. LeBron James, we've got liftoff. Looking fresh in year 18, Lakers get it within two. But Paul George would take this game over late. We're late in the third here. Clippers are up by three. Here's George. He's going to the hole. Yes, plus the foul. It's a six-point game as he makes the free throw. Paul George would score 33. When they asked his coach Ty Lue about him afterwards to describe his performance, he said unstoppable. And that he was. That's a four-point play. Clippers pull away to win it by 7, 116, 109. That was the nightcap on opening night. It began with this. Kevin Durant, his first game as a Brooklyn Net, and his first game as a teammate of that man, Kyrie Irving. And there's his former teammate, Steph Curry, as they take on the Warriors. And here we go. Welcome back, KD. Drilling a three, his first points as a Brooklyn Net. Now, just over six minutes remaining in the first, Kyrie Irving looked very comfortable last night. Three ball, corner pocket. Durant and Irving combined to outscore the Warriors in the first quarter by themselves. 27-25, and they were just getting started. There's Durant with a little jumper. He had 12 in the first half. Under 20 seconds to go in the half. Steph Curry trying to keep it close. He would lead the Warriors with 20 in the game. But the very next play, Kyrie, range. Bam, 31 feet. Kyrie had 24 points in the first half. Nets up 18 at the break. Third quarter, more Brooklyn. It's a 20-point game. Throw it up. DeAndre Jordan throws it down with the one hand. Nets firing on all cylinders. Later in the third, Nets are deep. Spencer Dinwiddie, Durant, Durant, yes. KD, 22 points, five boards in 25 minutes. Kyrie, 26 for him. Steve Nash, his first win as the coach. Nets win it going away. KD. How'd it feel? I know it's a lot of emotions and a lot of, you know, I got so many calls and texts about, you know, playing again. For me, I was just like, yo, what? I got to focus on the first possession, for, you know, and then try to get through that and then move on each possession. So I try not to make too much, of, too big of a deal out this whole thing and, you know, realize I've been playing this game since I was eight years old. So I just got to revert back to what I know. And yet it was a big deal. The NBA is back, and that means Tim Legler is back with us. Thanks for getting up early with us here, Legs. So from what we saw, again, it's one night, but you see Durant in the preseason in this game last night and him playing with Kyrie. In your mind, what do the Brooklyn Nets look like they can be? Well, if Kevin Durant's on your team and he's healthy, then you're a contender, and that's what it looks like to me. And I saw enough of him in the preseason to have a pretty good idea what I was going to see last night. Uh, he's a guy that's moving just like Kevin Durant used to move, and there's no answer for Kevin Durant defensively. You don't have the personnel for him. No team's got the scheme that can really slow him down and stop him. So if you have the best natural scorer in the NBA on your roster, you're a contender, particularly when you pair him with Kyrie Irving, which makes them the best scoring duo in the entire NBA. It looks to me like Kyrie now is in his happy place, which is alongside a more dominant player. Uh, he was at his best in Cleveland alongside LeBron James because he could just go play. And you leave the leadership things, the accountability, the answers to the other star. That's when Kyrie is at his best, and we saw it last night. Those two guys look like they really enjoy playing together. The questions are going to be, will they be good enough defensively as time goes on? And will everybody be able to accept their role? Because there are some guys taking a step back this year with this group. Let's see how that plays out, but there's no doubt they're a contender for a title. All right, so that's on the Eastern Conference side. As far as the West and the Lakers, how do you think they approach the start of this season with the short turnaround? And obviously LeBron, again, he's just a week away from his 36th birthday. 
Uh, the first month of the season for Frank Vogel is going to be basically training camp. It's very difficult to ask any team to come back off with that short of an offseason off a championship, not just from a time standpoint, it's also mentally. You know, you're basking in that a little bit. You're enjoying yourself a little bit. So he's not expecting that team to be mentally or physically ready, and you could see it in game one. They were a little bit sloppy to start. They did make a run, so I give them credit. They fought back. But at the end of the day, right now, there's a lot of new pieces that Frank Vogel has to figure out how to use. What combinations do you want to put out there at the start of the game? How do you want to finish the game? Uh, there's a lot of guys that want playing time on this team. So obviously, it's about AD and LeBron, but those other pieces have to gel. And right now, Frank Vogel is going to be using this as an extended training camp. Don't expect the Lakers to be anything much better than 500 probably for the first few weeks of the season. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.